everyone. I'm going to make this short video on how we code a same day surgery case in real life. Here is a snippet I took from a real life op report and a real life pathology report to support the op report, which in real life, if a specimen is removed, we have to have that pathology report to code with. So we're going to look at this, then we're going to bring up 3M and code it. Our patient is coming in. If we look at the pre-op diagnosis, it says chronic diarrhea, post-op diagnosis, endoscopically normal colon and terminal ileum. Our operative procedure, to total colonoscopy with examination of terminal ileum, random biopsies of terminal ileum, random biopsies of all anatomic regions of the colon, and then photography. So our anesthesia was sedated, just plain sedation. Description, it says she was taken to the endoscopy room where she was placed under the usual monitoring. She was then sedated with fentanyl and Versed throughout the procedure. The colonoscope was then passed, the full length of the colon, the presence of the colonoscope in the cecum being confirmed by the way of visual landmarks. The terminal ileum was examined. It appeared normal. Random biopsies of the ileum were obtained. The colonoscope was withdrawn and the colon was carefully examined. There was no evidence of any abnormality on this examination. Specifically, there was no evidence of any polyp, tumor, or neoplasm, and there was endoscopically no evidence of colitis. There was no diverticulus seen, and there was no evidence of vascular malformation. Random biopsies were obtained from all anatomic regions of the colon, during the withdrawal, including one biopsy from the cecum, ascending colon, hepatic flexure, transverse colon, splenic flexure, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum. There were submitted as specimen two. She tolerated the procedure well and returned to her room in stable condition. Preoperatively, she was under the understanding that she had a history of a colon polyp from a colonoscopy on, we've blacked out the dates. That polyp, however, located in the ascending colon was a hyperplastic polyp, which does not have the neoplastic potential that an edema tollus polyp does. So patients with hyperplastic polyps do not require the more frequent colonoscopic examinations. In regards to future colonoscopies, this would be at the discretion of her primary care provider. She's advised to follow up with her primary care provider in regards to diarrhea management. When her pathology reports are available, she will be notified by my office via telephone. So we are going to scroll down because we have the pathology reports. Remember in real life, if a specimen was removed, we do not code without that pathology report. So the second screen here, let me scroll down so it doesn't look so confusing, is the actual pathology reports. So clinical finding or information, our patient had that diarrhea, history of polyp, endoscopically normal. Specimen description, specimen one labeled as the terminal ileum consists of poor, four pieces of tan tissue ranging from 0.2 to 0.3 centimeters submitted in cassette A. Specimen two is random colon consists of 0.7 times 0.5 times 0.2 centimeter aggregate of tan tissue submitted in cassette B. So the final diagnosis is terminal ileum. The biopsy was normal, a normal small bowel mucosa negative for inflammation, granulomatoma, histologic changes, and same with two, the colon random biopsy, normal col colonic mucosa, negative for inflammation, granulomatoma, parasites, periscopic um, colitis, dysplasia. Okay, so now let's bring up 3M. So let me bring 3M into our screen. Okay, so our patient is a female. We're just gonna say she's 50. For the admit date, discharge date when you're doing a same day surgery, make sure again that you have a current year so that you're getting the current code set. 
And then under the product finder, hospital same-day surgeries are outpatient and they're paid under APC finder. So click the APC finder. Then we're gonna hit continue. Always hit this one for no or unknown condition code. And our primary diagnosis, where well, our primary diagnosis was diarrhea. And it said chronic, right? Our documentation said chronic, so we're gonna hit chronic. And there's, we don't have a specific type, so we're gonna hit unspecified. So it brings up A52.9 for non-infective gastroenteritis and colitis unspecified. So now we're gonna to have to also code that history of the hyperplastic polyp that she had. So we're gonna hit add diagnosis. I'm gonna type history and it's a personal history. So hit personal history and colon polyps right there. We're gonna hit number four and ours were hyperplastic, right? It wasn't neoplastic or adenomatosis. It was hyperplastic. So we're gonna hit one hyperplastic. We don't have any other histories to code, so I'm gonna hit no. There was not a follow-up, so we're gonna hit no. Okay, now we need to add our procedure, so we're gonna to go to add procedure. Our procedure was a colonoscopy. So we're gonna hit number three, colonoscopy. And it was with a biopsy, so I'm gonna hit number four. Hit continue. It didn't say it was hot biopsy or ultrasound, so we're gonna hit other. And then our biopsies were taking from the intestine and we did take one biopsy from the rectum, it said. So we're gonna do both intestine and rectum. Natural orifice, that's where the scope is inserted, right through the anus and up through the colon. So we're gonna hit one, no more procedures. There is our code, 45380 for our CBT. So we hit continue. We have our CBT right there. Our APC is 05312. We have our two diagnoses. K52.9 and Z87.19. And when you're all done, you would just hit next patient, go to the next case.